started making music on my little iPad that I got for uh, doing well on a school test when I was little. I think when I was 14 or 15, I guess, I started making music with GarageBand. I, I liked covering music that I really liked on it. And then it got into something more serious because I found out about club music remixes and I was trying to chop some samples on it and I really wanted to learn a proper DAW so I learned it from a friend uh, when I got into university. Lots of soul indie music artists uh, inspired me on the way because I found out about DAW through them so uh, musicians like Kirara and Netgala all the Korean artists, plus some really important artists that were pivotal to my list of inspirations, I think, like Arka or Sophie, who released their amazing albums back in 2014-15. Yeah, I am really inspired by them because they did something different. I am gender non-binary, and I use my pronouns they, them, and uh, their music was something that made me reconsider being a being born male. To me, it was because I was already quite confused about the gender norms and their music helped me get closer to the kind of music that I want for myself. It's called Nongak music. So, yeah, the G is not pronounced because in Korea it's double NG situation. Nongak music is a, uh, what Changdans are for, basically, the beat sequence that I mentioned before. So, this Nongak is played uh, among people on the fields who are at work in ancient times for agricultural purposes. So it's basically a labor song, but with beat instruments like tanggu and other instruments. And uh, I didn't study nongak at first. Yeah, I didn't study nongak uh, in, the, in like the traditional track or anything. I only uh, know it because it was in public education system as a part of a music education. So I have as little knowledge as anybody in Korea, I guess. But I uh, started digging into it because I saw some possibilities with this music in club settings. So I tried to incorporate uh, Nongak's Chang Dance into uh, club music adjacent tracks. That's what happened, I think. Usually, I would start making music from Ableton Live, which is a digital audio workstation. Uh, so I produce music as a DJ or as a producer. But since I am not that into uh, DJing, uh, traditional 
well, club music in traditional sense, uh, I try to make experimental music with it. And with guidelines, it was special because I had uh, Chang Dance, I had Nongak. When I had that beat structure, it was easy to implement that into what I usually do, the sounds that I usually like, and the kind of approaches that I can make with MIDI notes in Ableton Live. Yeah, uh, so I produce music, and then with uh, what, I, what we are doing tonight, I incorporate vocal elements as well, because Nongak used to be uh, vocal music as well. People used to chant uh, along the beat sequences. So that's what's happening tonight, plus some little more of surprise, I guess. host a club night with some other friends at a at an existing venue called Sengi Studio. We run Soro Club and uh, my old DJ crew is called Nobody Knows. Yeah. And we used to do some fun things, but I got out of Nobody Knows to do some other stuff uh, that is not typically more club music. You know, I didn't want to do anything that binds me to something, bounds me to some code cultural code or anything i just wanted to escape that so i create well helped create this soro club which is a night an event that does not necessarily involve what you'd imagine as a club night <laughs> 